Dave Knows How. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at what's going on with this tractor and what this mysterious noise is. So I bought one of these uh, stethoscopes. You stick it in your ear, it's got a long steel rod on it. I picked it up at Harbor Freight, it was pretty cheap. I went around touching on the metal on this engine, trying to narrow down where that sound is coming from. And the best that I can tell is that it's coming somewhere between the engine and the transmission. So I'm thinking it's the clutch. So I went on Amazon and I ordered a bore scope. Now this bore scope has got a pretty long lead on it. It's about 16 foot long, longer than what I need. But it was pretty inexpensive. And we're gonna turn this on. We're gonna stick this up inside the transmission. Take a look around and see what we see. Let's jump underneath this tractor, take a look at it and see what you guys think. Okay, so we're underneath the tractor, and this little thing right here, this is a drain weep hole for the transmission. And you, you can push this up, and if there's any condensation in there, it'll leak out of that hole, and it'll keep from accumulating up inside of that transmission. So we're going to unscrew that. Now, I had already broke this loose with a wrench. It's tighter, and it has a lock nut that goes on it. So this is the end of our bore scope. It's got a camera on the end of it, and we're looking at it on this screen right here. It's got a pretty decent screen, and we're looking at that. We're going to set that off to the side so that we can view what's going on. We're going to put maybe a little slight bend on this thing back towards where the clutch is, and let's take a look at the clutch. So, oh, wrong hole. Hmm. That's what she said. Okay, here we go. Um, we got no lights or something. Let's see. Okay, there we go. We got lights. All right, so there's the clutch. And as you can see on that clutch, that big part, and I'm going to mark that, that is the th throwout bearing. And those fins, you can see, are very cracked and damaged. Those cracks are not supposed to be there. That throwout bearing presses against there. I'm going to push down on the clutch, and you'll see that throwout bearing go against there. All right, push down on the clutch, and now we'll let off the clutch. And you can, so you can see what that throwout bearing does. It actually engages and disengages the clutch. So those cracked fins, that is not good. We're going to have to split this tractor, get in there and do a clutch job on this tractor, replace the clutch. Um, the throwout bearing is pretty nasty looking. You can see that's the return spring off the throwout bearing. It's still there and intact, so we know we haven't broke that or lost it or anything. That's the top side of the clutch up here. There's a lot of rust in there. I'm going to see if we can turn the camera around. Okay, so this is the output shaft to the transmission right there. I don't see any signs of any transmission fluid leaking out of there, hydraulic fluid or anything. But I do see a lot of gunk on this throwout bearing. So we're gonna take a sample of that. Let's, let's pull the bore scope back out. I got a some electrical tape here and a cotton swab. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to tape this cotton swab right to the end of this bore scope. Okay. 
<laughs> and now that that's taped on there, now we're gonna we're gonna stick this borescope back up in there. We're gonna take a sample off of this throwout bearing. That's the throwout bearing. There's the there's the end of the spring right there. So we're gonna see if we can't get a sample of some of this grime that's on this throwout bearing. I think that'll be enough right there. We can pull that back out. Okay, and then we'll just kind of take a look at that and see if it's oily. And no, it's not oily, it's just dry. So I would think that that is just uh, the friction pad on the uh, clutch, you know, where the friction pad came apart on the clutch and it's just, you know, a lot of dust from that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Um, this borescope worked pretty good to be able to see what's going on underneath there. It wasn't very expensive. I think it was $89 for this one. I actually ordered two borescopes, two different kinds. I ordered this one first and it came and it claimed that it had a straight ahead camera and a side 90 degree camera. And when I got it, the 90 degree camera was basically a mirror attachment that you put on here and it would reflect over 90 degrees. And I can tell you, it was worthless as tits on a bull. I mean, just, it may, they may as well not even send it. It was just horrible. So after getting that one, I seen another one on there. I was disappointed. I thought, you know, a side camera might do me better for sticking up in there and being able to rotate it around and seeing all the way around in there. So I ordered another one. It cost a little bit more, and it had the side camera on it. But what that meant was that this line was thicker, a lot meatier than this. And it went in the hole. It worked fine. I did try it. But this is really all you needed. Um, $89, I think I paid for this thing. That's pretty cheap to be able to do an inspection on that clutch house and see what's going on in there. I guess we'll be splitting this tractor in half and doing a clutch job. So. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.